Hey everybody, it's time to roll the wind. We're going to play with uh, John's idea over at Pro Crafts. Have a goal. Let's have a goal. Goals are very important. So is brown water. All right. If you're going to, if you're going to play, and he's 100% correct, you should have a wind goal. I will call myself being totally negligent about having actual wind goals. I tend to go by the feel of the table. So I've got a 2000, he was using an example, $2,125 total buy-in, $25 table, I'm going 640 across, and I'm going 25, 25, 25. I've got a $5 Crap check on a $25 pass line. $640 across. Hey, we won a quarter, but we lost 50 up there. back up you could hop it you could put put a hundred dollars down here doesn't matter hundred dollars on the pass line Hard 10. We'll slide that down here as odds. That way it didn't cost me a $5 VIG. That's four down there, unless you're on automatic buy, you have to pay it on the win. All right. We've got a goal. Our goal is five hundred dollars, fifty percent. So five fifty. Six two eight. Got one twenty on there. One twenty. Pay one forty. Let's be semi-smart. We don't want to be too smart, though. 175, 185, 190. I'm sorry. It's 175, 180. That's what we want. 180. Black chip goes in the rack. Five one six. Let me go ahead and bring my uh, counter up to date. Forgot to do that. Let's see. Didn't move. Maybe I got to do this. Yeah, eight. Five one six. Apparently, I rolled this over when I got to thinking about it. All right, so we got a six. That's going to pay you one forty. Let's take that one hundred and quarters. Go to 
180. for 22 Johnny Musso for you old time Alabama fans alright 100 base 200 less we got a 5% VIG 5% of $105 $5 VIG Got 200. We've got a gold 300. In our rack, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. If you took every bet down, you'd have your gold. Ta da! One two fifty. I don't know. Maybe it's because I like throwing the dice. But I've had my goal basically. Look at there, bad boy. Six four ten. That, my friends, is a $300 winner. $100 on the pass line, $200 in odds. Free odds, I might add. Hooks off. Do you want to do a crap check? Do you want to hedge it? Would I really be smart? 44. Hardy. Let's put uh, let's put 250 on the 10. Let's put $300 odds. Woo! Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. We still got six. We still got six hundred dollars at risk out of our buy-in. Six tosses. Not to mention we lost fifty bucks on the first throw. Six. Got one eighty. One eighty pays two hundred and ten dollars. Eighteen pays twenty one. One eighty pays two ten. It's just adding zeros, folks. I'm putting the two ten in the rack. Six two eight. There's your point. All right, look at this color. You get a hundred, three hundred.
that's almost your win goal right there. $450 win when you hit a $300 eight with a hundred dollars. All right, so let me count my rack. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 21. 21, I'm eight rolls in, betting big. I got twenty one seventy five. I made fifty bucks. But hell, I just made a point. So I get to throw again. Aces, ouch. No hedge, that hurt. Ten dollar crap check would have covered seventy of it. Let's do it. Since we just did it. Just to show that we're now we're scared. We're gonna hedge it. Three, two, five. First five of the night. Folks, I don't ever buy in with a $2,000 buy-in. I don't ever go out there at six forty dollars across, okay? <clears throat> We're going to go 180 on the 8. We'll just do single odds, 100. We've thrown 10 times, that was the first five. That's kind of being brave. Hey, we're high rolling it. We're balling it. Ooh, six, four, 10. There's your win goal. Oh, I knocked that six. I knocked that over. Six, four. Let me get this way. There we go. Six, four. Two hundred fifty dollars on there. Pays five hundred. Less ten. I don't have any. I'm just going to do $15 VIG. That's too much. Going to 500. Six one. Six one. Needed a dead gum three. And an eleven and a twelve. Well, we needed that three. That three would have been sweet. 
12 rolls. All right. We pressed up hard and heavy though, didn't we? Five hundred, five, one thousand, two thousand. I mean, fifteen hundred, three, fifty. We haven't made our goal yet. And we made thirty. We didn't even make thirty-five percent. We made fifteen, about fifteen percent. All right. So we didn't make our goal yet. We got lots of bullets left. Got some profit to play with. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm sorting these chips out. I'm gonna take that one and turn it into four quarters. Just getting this set up here, folks. Going back up 640. $100 on the pass line. Quarters up top. Let's see what we can continue to do, or if we can continue to do. We've got to make a little bit of money here. Of course, we could have we could have dropped down at any time and put five hundred dollars in the rack. Y'all know that, and I know that. One five. We'll leave that one twenty back here. We'll just do it that way. No, we're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna put two we're gonna put three hundred dollar odds. That's a good little hit again. Folks, don't do this for real unless you can afford it. A ten. Ten is the point. We'll go one eighty on the six. Technically, what the dealer will do is he will stack that 150 and 30. 
if I'm not mistaken. I, I know it pays 210. I don't want to get hung up on all the trivial stacking of the chips. I'm not a dealer. Ooh, that's a 628. 628, we got 120 on it, pays 140 again, right? Yep. Four twenty two Johnny Muso twenty two Page two hundred. We're going to do it this way. Page two hundred Nickel Vig. Uh, well, they do that, yeah. Big on the win. Whatever. We're going to go 250. A three one though. That's a beautiful toss. Absolutely gorgeous toss. Not really. It was ugly. Uh, let's screw the big two fifty base five hundred two fifty in the rack. Remember, we're shooting for 50%. Ooh, that's a 4-6. We're shooting for it. There's a $300 win. All right, so in our rack now, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 2600. So, we've hit our wind goal. Now, it took two tosses. It took 18, 18 total tosses. It took two hands and 18 tosses to make 50%. 50% is not a realistic number. But why not? Because I'll be honest with you, I get greedy as I ain't going to say it. Puck is off, by the way. Five one six.
<clears throat> Six is now the point. I'm going to go at least 250 on the 10, right? If I had my wind go, I might as well give it back. I am not making fun of wind goals. I'm making fun of myself, okay? I am really and truly making fun of myself. That pays one forty. Pays more than that if you're in Mississippi. Oh, let's go 150. Put that in the rack. Let's put that in the rack. Got to put a black chip in the rack every once in a while. That was an ugly toss, but it hit a hard six, which is our point. Ooh. Hard six is our point. Guess what? Everybody talks about percentages percentage of win goals and I cannot disagree with them right I mean if you got a goal you hit the goal hit the road my goal I told you up front was 50% <clears throat> two thousand dollar buy-in twenty percent would get you a nice win i want a thousand dollars i think i misquoted myself earlier <laughs> now that i think about it right obviously i did all right so the puck's off Four, nine. Nine is now the point. Slide that hundred down here. That was our first nine. All right. What do we want? Go back to 180. On the six. thousand dollars one thousand dollars fifty percent I want fifty percent may not get there but that's what I want that 
was my goal. That was my stated objective. Aces. Glad that wasn't on the come out like it was a while ago. We need a three. Okay, I want to change sets. Too much money on the line not to shoot for it, right? We got $25 on the small. Ooh, hard four. We'll take it. Banana chip. We get a banana chip out of that, right? So we've got 500 on it. Slide the banana chip over there. Put the 500 in the rack. Remember, my goal is I want to win 50% of this buy-in. I want $1,000. I am changing sets though, right? Yep. 2124. And we're out. Five, two, two, five. All right, let's tally it up. It's time to go to bed. We're getting late. Got to go sit at the bar at the casino. We got all these other excuses. It is time to color up, right? So where are we at? Let's see if those matter. They always matter. One, two, three, four, five. One thousand, two thousand. We're going to make it. One thousand, two thousand, nine hundred. We're gonna make. <laughs> we're gonna make a little over our fifty percent, folks. Profit. There's our buy in 2000. Uh, shoot, we had 2000. What did I have? 2150. Some weird ass number. Okay. 2150 was our buy in. 500. 1000. 13. 14. 05. That's 50%. 24 throws, two hands. Forgot to hit the enter key. <clears throat> 25 rolls. 25 rolls. SRR, 12 and a half. SOR, who gives a flying flip? 12 and a half. Two, two, two sevens, none come out. We needed a three for that small. That $25 right there would have looked nice times 30 right there. Oh well, didn't make it. But we didn't make $1,300.
All right, so take the you know move the decimal point, folks. You can you can break this down and you know you're playing the fifteen. I played it as a fifteen dollar table and added zeros. That's really all it was. I don't buy in for two thousand dollars. I don't recommend you do unless you've got a really huge bankroll. Fifty percent is entirely unexpected number for our session. But that would be a good time to call it a night right there. That would be a great time to call it a night. My personal opinion for me, I mean, if I'm buying in for $1,000 and I make 200, I am not excited. I'm just being totally honest with you. I'm just being honest as I can be about how I feel. Lots of people are ecstatic to walk away with $200 on a $1,000 buy-in, $200 profit on a $1,000 buy-in. I'm greedy. I admit it. I want more. And I'm going to shoot for more if given the, given the chance. I don't always do it. I don't always make it. Sometimes I lose my ass. Oops, didn't mean to cuss. Well, I ain't really cussing. I lose my butt sometimes too. If you play this game much, you will. You will have sessions where you will lose your fanny. Look what we left sitting on the floor. $1,000. We had, we had more on the table than our buy-in probably. I'm pretty sure we did. So I'm trying to prove a point. I don't know if, I'm, if anybody's making it or getting it. I'm going to pull some down off the table. And every time I make a hit, I pull some down. I pull some back. That's why I've got that. But that's why I've also got all that money sitting on the table when, it's seven, when that seven comes. Because I don't regress it down. So a smart person would have regressed somewhere in that hand well before that 25th row. Well, that was two hands. Well before that 12th row came in. You know, I, I know I know my SRR on average. I know about what it runs on certain dice sets. So don't do what I just did. I just did that kind of for entertainment purposes and try to prove a point. There was $1,500 between the four and the 10. Uh, another 320 on the six and eight. And I don't remember what was on the five and nine. I had a hundred and a hundred here when I seven. Uh, one fifty, I think it was. On the five, so that was fifteen hundred dollars on the table. I didn't even win that much. There was more on the table than I put in my rack. Don't be that guy. Do not be that guy. Learn to pull down. Learn to control your emotions. And don't get greedy like I do. Right? I hope you get the point. Practice like you play. Play like you practice. If you do that, you're going to go to the casino and you can roll to win. <laughs>